Welcome back to the hour show with uh, number part two of Roxanne Perry. Roxanne is a graphologist, and we left it where uh, we were talking about how exactly uh, it works. Now, I know you have a surprise for me today because you are going to study my handwriting. That's right. What do you use to read people? Okay. What I use in the handwriting, first of all, let me explain. Graphology is a method of determining personality and character. Yes. So I look at things that are graphically called slant, pen pressure, space, zone, distance between letters, um, direction of lines, yes. um, energy patterns. I look at all of that. It's very visual. Yes. So when I look at a handwriting, I can take it home with me and study it. Wow. Whereas if you look at a person, you meet them for five minutes, you get a quick impression, That's and right. maybe you're wrong. But then you can take it, it's portable, you can take it home and look at it. Okay. So there's a whole study, oh, and right. there's a course, Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, that yes. you can take, and anybody can learn it, um, who has a little bit of science and intuition. Because yes. handwriting is a combination of science and intuition. The facts are that if a person writes large and full and open, yes. they tend to be large and full and open in their nature. Oh, yes. However, people who write very tiny and, and, and pinched can be very humble or, mm -hmm. or very introverted. Mm -hmm. So even though I might describe something about the writing, remember there's over 300 traits yes. that a person can look at. But to narrow it in, we look at the gestalt. We look at the whole picture, we see the whole pattern, and then we come to a conclusion and about the individual. You call that the gush gestalt, which means looking at the whole. The whole. It's G-E-S-T-A-L-T. -E it's a term that comes from psychological use, and it yes. means looking at the whole picture. The same as we look at a painting, we yes. have to first decide it's a painting. That's right. That dot on that blue painting will have a different effect than the dot on the red painting because yes. the energy of the red is different from the energy of the blue. That's true. So if I'm describing your writing, I'm yes. only describing our, I'm not describing anybody else, just you. Wow. Because your fingerprints, like your, like your, yeah, uh, it's, it's your, it's your mark, it's your signature, it's your it's trademark. Absolutely. It only describes who you are. Amazing. So we're right. going to move on to describing mine. Right. Wow. Right. Okay. Right. So. We did this last week. I right. wrote this uh, note here. Mm -hmm. I want to see that. Right. I, I can read it to them, and maybe we can have a close-up of really what my handwriting looked like. And right. you took it home. I took it home, and I studied it. And you studied it. So um, what I would say about you is you have what is called high form level. This is the way to analyze the gestalt. I can go into all the details, but it, will, it won't really get to the point. Yes. The high form level is measured by five things. It's okay. measured by the signature, yes. um, the style, not yes. the signature, the style. Yes. The style is simplified. You don't use the school type where you drag in from the beginning strokes. Okay. It's what we call simplification. That's one. Number two is it's legible. Okay. Number three, it has um, a good sense of form and space and distance between lines, distance between letters. Everything is very specific and exactly and precise. I love all of that. Now, <laughs> so what that means is that, that what that means is it's a high form level, which, what does it mean to have a high form, form level? level? Signs of intelligence, mm. people who do not think inside the box, but think outside of the box. They create, they have a different dimension. Uh, people like this, including you, of course, mm -hmm. have musical ability, have artistic ability, can paint and draw. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of creativity within the writing. Mm -hmm. It's also within a structure mm -hmm. because the lines are not going too high out to the right or the left, mm -hmm. but it kind of stays in the middle. Okay. So even though it has the style evaluation of a creative person, there is still a sense of boundaries and security within that type of type of a writing. Yes. So that would be one way to explain it. Yes. That there's, even though it's out of the box, but your security is within the box, within the security, within the safety, within the protection. And then when you have that secure base, then you can go out and create. It's not a rebellious handwriting. It's not a argumentative handwriting. It's a very holistic handwriting. Wow. Okay. So it shows some of those traits in there. And it's all balanced letters. I mentioned before about what's called a zone. Yes. A zone would be the top of the L, mm -hmm. the top of the T. Yes. The middle zone would be A, E, I, O, U, M, and N's. Yes. The lower zone would be your Y's and your G's. You'll notice you don't have any exaggeration in any zone. 
which means you have a total balanced, stable, reliable, efficient type of a personality. So if this would come across in, in, in my desk yes. by somebody who wanted to hire you, for example, yes. um, this would be a person who could create and draw and paint and sculpt and do things within a creative venue. So if that was the creative aspect of it, then I would say hire the person. Okay. If they were looking for a bookkeeper, yes. I would say no, this is not a bookkeeper handwriting. Why? You'd be bored to death. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Bookkeeping would Which not work so for you. True. You'd it be bored to death. <laughs> this would not work. This is too okay. creative. Yes. You know, not that I'm insulting bookkeepers. No, but no. You'd be bored. You'd be bored with the bookkeeper. Absolutely. And if somebody wanted somebody to to do um, uh, very aggressive going out into the world and being pushy, it's again not for you. Yes. Because yours is more humble, more poised, more humility. Why? Because it's all within the frame. It's like a picture within a frame. It has the artistic element of beauty and dignity and class. Oh. So you have, it's really a wonderful handwriting. I think so. It is, it's a wonderful oh, handwriting. really? Can I, can I be happy about you my can, handwriting? You can, you can. I think so. And, and don't <laughs> change it. You don't want graphotherapy. You don't need graphotherapy. Yeah, I don't need it. You I won't change it. it. Thank you so much, honey. You're quite welcome. Really, that was great. You're quite welcome. So who else do you know that mm -hmm. we, uh, well, this was mine. Again, right. if you want to see what it looks like, now mm -hmm. you know more about our. Right, it's all balanced. It's all balanced. Don't hire me for bookkeeping. No, no it's bookkeeping. not going to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you came uh, with the handwriting of opera because yes. it's a very interesting one. Yes. And, and I would love to, to hear about it. So. Right, so maybe they could see the yes. picture. So this is, yeah. Well, what this I is like opera about signature. Oprah is you notice that she's out of the box totally. Yes. Her, her, her writing is totally, you have a large circle O. Mm -hmm. Now the large circle O has probably 10 different meanings to it. Yes. But I'm going to give it to you in the context of Oprah's handwriting. Yes. Her O is an open loving cup. It's what we call chesed. It's all generous and caring and loving and truly trying to open up the world. Yes. The size of it, of course, needs to be seen and recognized. Yes. You can't go out into the world and, and be a meek, be humble little, person. Right? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so you have to go out, you have to have a show and drama, mm -hmm. and you have to have excitability, yes. and you have to be an oceanic thinker. Yes, Her O shows all that. Yes. What's interesting is that inside of the O are the P, R, and the A. Yes. which means that I'm open and friendly and I want to change the world, I want to do good for the world, yes. but still don't come too close and think you can play a game with me. Wow. Because I'm going to still protect myself. myself. Now, again, it's not a division mm -hmm. as we talk. It's not yes, a division, it's a protection. And yes. people need to realize that protection and safety is just as important as being open, as not to course. be too vulnerable. Yes. So it shows you the ability to stay within and to stay without. Stay without. The inner beauty of the woman and the outer beauty of the woman. Amazing. Then her writing goes out from the Winfrey. Yes. It moves strongly to the right. The right is the extroverted side. Mm. The right is the outgoing side. The right is the side of the world. Mm -hmm. The right is the side of action and movement. Yes. She doesn't pull to the left. Okay. She pulls to the right, which is called the right slant. So her right slant shows her spontaneity, her enthusiasm, her excitement, her joy of living. And she is what she appears to be. There is no hidden agenda, there's no duality. Yes. Being inside and protecting yourself is not a duality. It's For part her. of the whole, Absolutely. knowing I'm gonna be friendly and outgoing, but I'm also gonna save and reserve something for me that I have my own space and my own inner sense of who I am I as am. a person. Beautiful. Well, now we know more about Oprah Winfrey. Right. We'll be right back.